Hello everyone and welcome back to Mr. Brown Tech. And today in this new video, as you can see, I have a new machine. And as you can see, it's a Hoover Link 10 kilogram A plus 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 1400 RPM washing machine. Now this is a temporary machine, but as you can see here, has a, this is top 40. Here's the drop one, this is seized. I don't know the model number, but I'll put that in the video title. But as you can see, here we have Hoover Link. Now, the reason why I have this is I <clears throat> currently in school for my TD Technology and Design project, making my own washing machine with a mini compact demonstration model. So, got this here from the recycling center. The uh, uh, refurbishment shop they had for twenty pounds, and this was and we asked them, taking us to the back, where they had all the broken machines from the junkyard the recycling center part. And there's a few machines there. There's this Hoover candy, and uh, there's also a couple Beckel dryers, Hardpoint NSWM and such, including Beckel WTK and Mila as well. So ended up getting this Hoover anyways. And as you can see, even as it's with its new sewing sticker for the one touch swing, which is quite cool. And this just arrived today, which is great. And of course, if I open the door, See this glass, you can see it is a bit scratched up in there. And there's the waiting plate. It's a bit gunky though, including the door seal, as you can see. I've no idea what this looks like, bit of a magazine. But problem with this one is Do you want me to say east? I think I already mentioned that, but Drum on this is seized, so it doesn't turn or anything, but that's fine with me anyway. So as you can see, definitely quite a large 10 kilogram capacity drum. Some weird stuff back here, I have no idea what that's about. Some newspaper. But, yeah, I'm not too sure what that is, but probably left over detergent. As you can see here, they tried to hard wash this in and they tried to repair it with this paint, which I don't think is very good. But down here we have the pump. As you can see when I open it, there's nothing in there. And that's because I removed the drain pump from it, because when I arrived, when I was putting it into the garage, I had this scratching noise and I realised the drain pump was actually hanging out of the bottom. So I placed it onto its side and moved the drain pump, which appeared to be full of gunk and some newspaper thing as well. Probably could be why the drum says, but also stinks. It smells like smelly, it smells like sweat or smelly armpits, so not very pleasant to have to see. And of course, this is a slightly older one, so it has this a lot more nicer door, so it's not like the Hoover H was, this is the simple, simpler door, it has this nicer dynamic next to the door, which I personally really like. Definitely going to be keeping that, but I'm also going to turn the drum into a fire pit. So, there you go, you can see it's a little bit of rust, looking there, and as you can see back there, it's also the motor. Now, I'm not too sure. But looking from underneath and taking the pump out, it looked to be, it looked like it was a backhoe motor, just like the one in the WMB. But not too sure about that. But I'm going to check once I get to the part, once I get to the part. And here you see, here's the side panel. Has a bit of paint and some scuffing. So it's must have repainted their kitchen at some stage, whoever used to have it. There's the back. As you can see there, there's some waiting plate. I can't, really, I can't see from where I'm looking. 
There it is. Mains in. Back access panel, you have transport boat covers. There's a wee thing for the motor. And drain hose. So, very simple. A lot like, just like my Hoover Optima, which is behind here, behind this cardboard with the hard point, is storing some wood in the garage at the moment. Garage is a really big mess at the moment, as you can see. There's the Smartec, been moldy, the Sandersy. And here's the Hitachi. Now, this is going to be fixed. I got a soldering kit for it to replace all of the buttons on the control board. And here, you'll be surprised to see, but I got a Harpoint TO28 Fenton Tumble Joyer. Now, I got this the summer before for £70 in Marketplace, very good condition. And I already don't know if a few videos of it, but I never uploaded it, so stay tuned for that. And I will be taking this apart and restoring it along with the Hitachi, because it is a bit rusty, so. And back to the Hoover. Come around this side. You can see it has a dent on it. Typical Hoover, because it has a few dents here and sorts of anyways. Including you, you can see where the ballast been banging off it. Of its hoof, and I think socks may be worn out. Probably. But it's so stinks soon. And as we pin spare spans. So, yeah, there you go. So, this is my new Hoover Link. Don't know the model number still, but it's a Hoover Link 10 kilogram A, 1400 RPM missing. Faulty top. So this is going to be used for my homemade machine anyways. And before I conclude the video, here we have the program. So you have rapid 14.30, 44 minutes, daily 59, mixed, hand wash and roll, delicate, sports, dark colors, rinse, drain and spin, baby hygiene 60, active eco 20, cartons, weight and pre-wash, Whites and one tots, so this of course can connect to your phone through the one tots app, which I might be doing once I get this into my wee mini home machine. And I believe it tells you how many cycles and such this machine we've done as well, so that'll be quite good. Here's the display we have temperature selection 90, 60, 40, 30, 20, spin speed 400. 10,800, 400, and no spin. We have dirtiness levels, and we have the R, and that's, we, you would use that for the rapid cycle. We also have kilogram mode, that's what that lights for sensing. Lock indicator, and we actually have child lock. Oh, no, that's the door locked. This symbol here, so you can see it, that's the child lock, so you press those, and that will activate. Delay start and the options, so of course, with just ironing, I believe, hygiene plus and extra wins. Start pause. And there's your time remaining. Now, this is after I done the outro, but I forgot one thing a suitcase the drawer, of course. So, opening up. As you can see, it comes with free washing powder. That's great. You have your main wash compartment, two fabric softener. And and your pre wash number one, the max symbol. If I take that out, you can see law of washing powder and very gunky drawer, but not as dirty as I was expecting actually. It won't stick the phone in. Makes it doesn't touch anything. Uh, I can't really see. Got a bit of gunk on my phone now, but no clean off. Screws rusty. I don't know why they don't put stainless steel screws there, but there you go, and you can see the jets. They're not too clogged, so it wouldn't need too much of a clean. So as you can see, they definitely put on a cycle and drum wasn't turning. But I also checked underneath. Belts are so still intact, so it hasn't burned through the belt or anything, which is good. So, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video of the Hoover Link. And just a wee general channel update. And of course, I forgot to swear. As you can see, I got a bunch of street lights chilling here.
again apologies for the big mess but a whole bunch of alpha eights ford riga ford beta twos gamma six metal aluminum alpha eight urban set xu one and have a few gamma sixes up in my room and of course over here we also have a dossier 2600 my second street light i forgot it's I didn't do a video off either, but hopefully that'll be one soon. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this quite quite lengthy video. I'd say on the new Hoover, on my new temporary machine, this Hoover link. So like, comment, and subscribe, and hit the notification button. And I'll see you again in another video. Bye.